Hello, cheerful viewers, and welcome to Healthy Living on Supreme Master Television. Today's program is the first in a two-part series featuring our interview with staff and clients from the Coronary Health Improvement Project, or CHIP, a low-cost instructional program that helps people change their lifestyles to prevent and reverse disease through the vegan diet. In CHIP's courses, participants learn to decrease their cholesterol, triglyceride, and blood sugar levels by losing weight, lowering their blood pressure, exercising, changing their diets, and stopping smoking. The CHIP program was created by Dr. Hans Deal, and he's a Seventh-day Adventist with a commitment to educate the world about the importance of a positive lifestyle. And so his mission is to spread it throughout the world. There are CHIP chapters almost in every city, and it's growing by leaps and bounds. In founding CHIP, Dr. Deal, who is the director of the Lifestyle Medicine Institute of Loma Linda, California, USA, and the clinical director of the Coronary Health Improvement Project, was motivated by the efforts of an epidemiologist in Finland who had improved the health of people with heart disease and lung cancer in one of the nation's provinces, and visionary American inventor Nathan Pritikin, who found that many Western diseases stem from eating foods high in cholesterol and saturated fat, especially animal products. In a Finnish province, the death rate of men who were just in their 40s and 50s was abnormally high. Most were succumbing to coronary artery disease. In the 1970s, Dr. Pekka Puska was determined to bring down this group's mortality rate and was successful using a community-based intervention model. This method of bettering public health deeply impressed Dr. Deal and became the foundation of CHIP's format for changing lives. Nathan Pritikin, an inventor with numerous patents, was told he had coronary artery disease at just the age of 41. Mr. Pritikin refused to be a victim and started examining health data to see if there was a way to resolve his condition. He discovered that those who had a cholesterol level of under 160 milligrams per deciliter almost never had coronary artery disease. Another fact he discovered was a number of conditions that are prevalent in Western societies including coronary artery disease, typically do not occur in those who exercise and follow a simple whole foods diet, high in unrefined fiber-rich carbohydrates and very low in fat. Dr. Deal learned that Mr. Pritikin used simple changes in clients' dietary, smoking, and exercise habits to dramatically improve conditions such as heart disease, diabetes, high blood pressure, gout, arthritis, and obesity which Nathan Pritikin called diseases of dietary abundance. Intrigued by this approach, Dr. Deal visited the first Pritikin Longevity Center in Santa Barbara, California, USA, where Mr. Pritikin informed him that the center's success rate was about 80%. Amazed at this percentage, Dr. Deal did a statistical analysis to determine the precise success rate and found that it was actually even higher. 83% of Mr. Pritikin's former hypertensive clients who had been on medication were drug-free and had normal blood pressure levels. Dr. Deal then observed that the center's program promoted a fiber-rich diet centered around unrefined grains, fruits, vegetables, and legumes. The program also prescribed progressive exercise for its participants. Seeing clients' rapid, consistent, and almost miraculous improvement under the staff's close medical supervision, he wondered how this lifestyle change method could be implemented at the community level. Instead of having people spend thousands of dollars for treatment at a private institute, he thought perhaps the same results could be obtained at a much lower cost, thus reaching a broader segment of society. For the next few years, Dr. Deal worked as a research fellow at Loma Linda University, USA, lectured about the possibility of reversing many of the chronic conditions prevalent in Western societies through lifestyle change, and soon developed a following. Finally, in 1986, Chip began when the Creston Valley Hospital in British Columbia, Canada, invited him to conduct a four-week program in its community of 5,000 adults. During the program, Dr. Deal delivered 40 hours of instructional lectures to some 400 enthusiastic participants. Since that auspicious beginning, CHIP has graduated over 50,000 participants worldwide. We'll now hear from the CHIP Director for Los Angeles, California, USA, Ed Cabell, about the nature and mission of CHIP. 
is the way we get the message out about the importance of adopting a vegan lifestyle. Uh, we go to schools, we go to churches, we go to restaurants, vegan restaurants. And so we put articles in the newspapers, we go to the media to spread the word. And people come because people are suffering. And we have a message for people who suffer. And that is change your lifestyle, exercise, and a lifestyle change will facilitate a reversal of your condition. What are the main components of the program? The CHIP program is very simple. There are actually three components that include 16 lectures um, three times a week. Uh, we have a medical doctor who take a pre and post uh, test for their blood uh, levels, cholesterol, triglyceride. Uh, we actually um, take their blood pressure as well, uh, their body weight. And so we can tell um, pretty much if these people have already um, uh, a candidate for what we call the metabolic syndrome. So if they have three of the five risk factors, we provide them the education, then we provide them the meals because if you change people to a vegan meal, the food has to taste good. So we provide delicious vegan meals so they don't miss the meat and the milk and the dairy and the cheese and all the fat and the butter and the cream and the sugar. And then we provide support. Support means that we continue with an alumni program following the 30-day chip exercise and we provide restaurant experiences, cooking classes, uh, just great things for people who desire to make a positive change in their health. Who typically attends CHIPS events? We have people come from all ranges of life and cultures and ethnic uh, backgrounds. Um, it's just people who are suffering. Uh, people who are suffering uh, looking for help, they are desperate. And usually the people who come to us are people who have gone to the doctor and that doctors have told them, well, it looks like you're gonna be on a lifetime of med medication. And so they choose not to be on a lifetime of medication. And so as a result, CHIP is available and they come. Mr. Cabell attributes CHIP's high success rate in constructively transforming lives to the methods it uses to teach the program's core principles. There are actually six levels of thinking. And knowledge is the lowest level of thinking. So we have a program designed to take them to the level of comprehension and then let them be able to apply what we teach them. But the most important thing is that we, we allow them to analyze and then break down the educational parts of CHIP and the diet part and the exercise part. But the total part that we give them is the evaluation, where they make a sound judgment based upon all the facts that they have gathered from knowledge, from comprehension, from application, from analysis, from synthesis. And so when they reach the level six, which is the highest level of thinking, evaluation, they make sound judgment. And as a result of that, they continue to stick with the program. They do not fall apart. They do not revert back to their old habits of eating hamburgers and all that. I am committed to helping people to live. I lost my wife to breast cancer 20 years ago. And from that point, I had vowed that I would do everything I could to make sure people live. And I know that health is the thing that lets you know that now is the best time of your life. And so without health, you can't have a good time. So I feel good because I see people have a good time. When they uh, come through the CHIP program and they are happy, and when we go on our alumni trips and vacations, uh, I can just see so much joy in there that I just feel good because I know that I made a difference. Finally, we asked Mr. Cabell for his view on how CHIP influences the communities it serves. One of the biggest influence CHIP has had on society as a whole is that it comes out of Loma Linda University. Um, Loma Linda, California is the home of 
Seventh-day Adventists. Uh, and Seventh-day Adventists are the healthiest group of people in the world. Uh, there's an, actually a health study that's done on Adventists uh, to support that claim. Uh, but most importantly, the world understands that now degenerative diseases can be reversed because of the powerful media presentation from Dr. Oz and Dr. Elsleton, Dr. Uh, Neil Bernard, and quite a few others. Because of that, CHIP is local and they can reach CHIP. And as a result, they can come to a local CHIP chapter and they can benefit from it. So the word of mouth now is just spread up. Our thanks, Ed Cabell, for providing us an excellent introduction to the Coronary Health Improvement Project and how its program is bettering public health across the globe through promoting the vegan diet and exercise. We are very happy to know that many lives have been saved due to the benevolent work of CHIP staff members like you. For more information on the Coronary Health Improvement Project, please visit www.chiphealth.com. Please join us again next Monday on Healthy Living for the second and final part of our informative series on the Coronary Health Improvement Project, which will feature real life accounts by people that CHIP has helped to a better, healthier life. Thank you for watching our program. May all beings be forever blessed with vibrant health and inner peace. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash HL.